Singapore has nurtured its garden city image since the 1960s and uh, by the 1970s it was quite an established uh, national branding. The evolution of the garden city into a city in a garden where we are no longer a city-state where gardens are merely decorative items added in. But now the whole city and the whole nation is being developed within a garden environment. We are one of the first gardens to be given the status of being a World Heritage Site. And to have a garden being acknowledged as a leading world attraction is, is quite an outstanding achievement. What would make people want to come to Singapore? It is, after all, just an island within an area where there are thousands of islands. So how do we make it into a wow place to visit? And that's why we needed to look into having architecture, technology and nature being coming together to develop this particular entity. We brought the seasons into the equator. We uh, completely reversed the role of greenhouses where in other countries they are hot houses in cool environments. We are bringing the cool environment to the equator. So if you look at the exhibits, the themes always respect the season. Well, I've learned from Dr. Tan uh, that it's very important to have passion in the work you do. It's about the importance of parks and greenery to Singapore, a very urbanised Singapore. Dr. Tan has contributed to this idea of ecotourism. And in doing so, people get to enjoy the nature reserve, love it, and in doing so, uh, want to protect it. Well done, Dr. Tan. Heartiest congratulations to you for achieving this award. When I first joined the gardens four years back, uh, I was showing the, one of the chief ministers of Rajasthan around the gardens. She was blown away. Immediately, she said she wanted to speak to the person who created it. He was in India at that time, and he said that, Felix, I want you to get an air ticket and fly tonight with the chief minister to Jaipur. When I boarded the plane, she was pleasantly surprised. And for that instance, I understood what Dr. Tan did. He didn't sell to the chief minister this beautiful garden. He sell to the chief minister trust and credibility. If you go to my Indian garden, there are four sculptures there, made of the same marble as in Taj Mahal, and the symbol of the friendship between Singapore and India. And for Dr. Tan, this Lifetime Achievement Award, there's no other better person than you. And I salute you for that. You should never be satisfied with the status quo. You must always challenge boundaries. You must always be innovative. I want to be surprised every time I come. First, first of all, by the, uh, uh, the creativity of my staff and that they are growing, uh, basing themselves on what has been achieved as a, as a platform. And then to actually keep growing this as one of the wonders of the world.